everyone welcome back today i'm going to create a list of drawings in sheet set manager and then i'm going to address this comment that i received asking how you can show view details of each sheet on the list of drawings basically a list of drawings is the table of content of your sheet set it goes right after the cover sheet and it shows a list of all the drawings that you're submitting in your package so i have my sheet set open here and i'll go to the general subset right click it and select new sheet if you saw my cover sheet video, you'll see that this specific subset is set to prompt me for a sheet template every time I create a new sheet. So what I'll do now is browse for my A3 title block in my source file called title blocks. Open, select A3 title block. I'll link the video for this here. Click OK. Sheet number is 000. Sheet title is list of drawings. Click OK and now my sheet is ready. Now my list of drawings is going to be added to this sheet in the form of a table. So before adding it, it's very important to set the table style first. So I'll type in table style and I'll click new to create my own style. I'll call it local table style. Continue and this window pops up. So it's showing a little preview here with three different cell styles. If you go to cell styles, you'll see that you have data, which is showing on the preview, and header and title. So I'll start with the title. First, I'll go to the text tab and change the font to four. Then I'll move back to general. And as you can see, the preview is adjusting. And I'll see if I want to change anything here. So I'm okay with the properties. The margins I'm going to change to one horizontal and one vertical. Then I'll go to header. Same thing. I'll start with text. Change text height to 4. Go back to general. And here I'm going to pick a fill color for it. So I'll click the drop down menu. Go to select color. And I'll pick this gray color with index number 9. It's important to remember that. Click OK. Alignment fine. Margins. Same thing. I'll change this to 1 and 1. I'll go back to cell styles. And now let's work on data. Same steps. Text. Change height to 4. Go back to general. Here I'll change the alignment to middle left and I'll adjust the margins to 1 and 1. Click OK. And before closing this window, make sure to select the new table style and then click set current. Now you can close. Now we've done all the prepping, let's add in the list. So I'll go to my sheet set title, right click it and select insert sheet list table. This window pops up. So it's showing a preview of the table, which you can manage from the table data tab. So for the title, the default is sheet list table. I'll change that to list of drawing and in column settings it's showing the data type that's going to be displayed under each column and the heading text is the header of each column as well so you can edit the heading text but the data is going to be pulled from your sheets for the sake of consistency i'm going to change the heading text to match what i have written on my title block so on my title block, I have drawing number and drawing title. And this is exactly what I'm going to write here. Instead of sheet number, I'll write drawing number. And instead of sheet title, I'll write drawing title. Then I'll move to my subsets and sheets tab to make sure all the sheets and subsets are selected or uncheck any sheets that I don't want to appear on my sheet list. Next, I'll go back to table style settings and I'll change the table style to local table style, which is the one we just created. And I'll check mark show subheader so it includes my subsets as well in the list click ok and let's see what it looks like I'll place it here. As you can see, all the data cells are grayed out like fields because they're pulling the information directly from the sheets. The header row is black though because in a previous video, I set my plot style to show all the colors as black except for the cyan. So what I'm going to do is hit Ctrl P on my keyboard to adjust my plot style. I'll go to plot style table, then click the edit icon. And I'll select color 9. This is why I told you to remember the index number of the color you chose. And in properties, I'll change the color to use object color. Then I'll click save and close and click cancel, regenerate. There you go. Now what happens if I add a new sheet to my sheet set? Let me show you. So let's go to this subset, right click, create new sheet, 102, powder room enlargement. I don't need to open in drawing editor, click OK. So the sheet is created here and it's under the sheet set. What I'm going to do is select my table, right click it and select update table data links. Ta-da! So obviously this applies to any other sheet that you may add. However, if you add your table and then edit the formatting, whenever you add a new sheet, it's 
a bigger hassle. So this is why I said it's important to format the table style before adding your table. So this is the standard sheet list format that I use. But to answer the comment about showing the sheet view details on the list of drawings as well, I'm going to remove this and I'll show you how I would do it. So I'll right click the sheet set, go to insert sheet list table, and I'll click add to add a data type. If you click the data type here, you'll see that there's a drop down showing the different kinds of information that you can pull from your sheets. However, it's not showing anything about sheet views. So what I would do is select none and in heading text, I'll write sheet views, click OK, add my table and manually adjust this last column make it a bit wider and I would open my sheet views tab in sheet set manager so I can have a list of all the views I have under each sheet and in the cell next to each sheet I'll add an M text taking up the entire cell adjust my font to 4 justification to middle left and just manually type in the list of views that you have under each sheet so in as built plan I have 01 as built plan I'll adjust that Copy it. And in cases like this, where the text is not fitting, I would select the cell and adjust the row height. And then select my text and adjust the width. Move down. In a case like bathroom enlargements, here I have five views, so I need more space. So I'll select the cell, adjust the row height, and copy the text and just type them. And maybe make this text a bit smaller and just add it here. I'll just match those to make it look nice and neat. So that's it. That's honestly how I would do it if I wanted to show the sheet view information on the list of drawings. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.